I'm Dipali Fadnis, Director of Mrs. India Pageants. We started year 2018 on a very beautiful note where I and Kalpana Thakur prepared a millet vent pogal, which is also known as the Kitchadi, for the children of Greater Himalayas. As promised, we are going to promote the holistic living to bring the diabetes awareness, as the statistics of diabetes in India are now alarming. If not to take in the prevention methods today, India will be soon the diabetic capital of the world, which is certainly not desirable. Holistic living starts with what you eat, and millets are the wonder grains gifted by Mother Nature, which are not only packed with the nutrition, but offer a very low glycemic index, making it a perfect on your diet chart. Because the food with low glycemic index takes a longer time to pass through our digestive tract, allowing our digestive system to absorb all the nutrition. At the same time, it provides a constant source of energy, keeping us hunger-free for longer time. Today, I am going to show you three types of dosas, which are made up of millet and multigrains. At the same time, I am going to show you a sambar rice, which is again made up of a millet. Yes, a sambar rice made up of millet. So I have a range of three instant dosas that are made up of millets and a sambar rice which is again made up of a millet. We can serve these dosas with the instant chutneys from the spice club which are ready to eat and made up of a very high quality moringa leaf and a sesame seeds. Now these two chutneys are very healthy and are very high on potassium and a calcium. Especially the moringa leaf which are suggested to be the ideal for the people who are suffering from diabetes. So these moringa leaves and this is message is what I'm going to serve along with my dosas today. So these chutneys can be served as it is or you can add a little bit of oil or a ghee and make it a thick consistency paste and just eat with it or else you can add a little bit of curd and make it a paste like so and serve with the dosas which makes a perfect treat of a millet dosas and a moringa leaf chutney. To make this dosa batter, you just have to add the instant mix of the spice club, which is made up of millet and a multigrain, to a curd and keep it for three hours. If you are into the hot and humid place, keeping it two hours is enough. So here goes my first multi millet dosa. It's just so easy. Wow. Look at this consistency. Now these dosas are not very thin as the regular dosas that are made up of rice. These are a little thicker. If you like, you can add some oil, but I'm going to make it oil free. So here my dosa is ready. So now it is ready to turn. Can you see the crispy brown dosa? It's totally oil free but if you like you can add some oil or ghee. Okay so now dosa is ready to be served and here it comes. Wow look at this. And this dosa I'm going to serve with Moringa leaf chutney, which I have made uh, with curd, and this message chutney, which again I have added with curd. If you like, you can add with a ghee or a sesame, or a sesame oil, which is known as a gingerly oil. And here is my multi grain millet dosa, along with a moringa leaf chutney, and a sesame seed is ready to be served. Now, this is my version of dosa, which I am to get made with a special moringa leaf. So, it's just a batter of dosa. Look at this. Uh, in this dosa, I am going to add a little bit of oil. And into this, this is the moringa leaf chutney. 
which I just am going to spread it over a dosa like so. You know, you can use as much you want. So my millet dosa by Spice Club topped with a moringa leaf chutney is ready to be served. It looks just gorgeous and I'm sure it's going to taste real yum. So here you go. Wow, look at this. This is so crispy and it looks so gorgeous. So just have a look at this gorgeous multivided millet dosa by the Spice Club. I have topped it with a moringa leaf chutney which is just gorgeous which you can eat with a curd or you can just enjoy it the way it is. So this multi-millet dosa by the Spice Club This is so crunchy, so yummy, and it has a very strong taste of a diabetes, which is again good for diabetes. So this is basically a, on the whole a very good food for the people who are suffering from diabetes. It is not only made up of millets. These ingredients, especially, are being added thinking diabetic people in mind. It have a very strong taste of a moringa leaf chutney. Trust me, this is the healthiest and the tastiest version of dosa you have ever eaten, which is made up of millets, multi millets, by the spice club. So let me enjoy it. Now let's make millet sambal rice. Yes, sambal rice made up of millets. The spice club offers the sambal rice made up of a very high quality millet and a very nutritious ingredients. Now many of us don't eat rice, especially if they are very diet conscious or having a diabetes. But not anymore. You can enjoy your favorite sambal rice made by Spice Club. So let's see how it cooks and how it tastes. So to make this sambal rice, you just need two ingredients. One, the millet sambal rice mix by the Spice Club and of course, a jug of water. If you like, you can add a purified butter and if you not, you can just skip it. But I'm going to add this one big dollop of ghee to the sambal rice. So let's start with making the sambal rice. Dollop 
of a purified butter, which is ghee. And look at this gorgeous sambar rice, a mini sambar rice by the Spice Girl. So let's taste it. If you are very diet conscious and you just love sambar rice, or if you are having a diabetes and you want to enjoy a sambar rice, the millet sambar rice by the Spice Club is your perfect choice. Healthy and a very tasty sambar rice by the Spice Club. I'm going to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel by hitting a subscribe button right below and like us on Facebook to stay tuned for more updates. This is Dipali Fadnis, Director of Mrs. India Pageants, signing off. Bye-bye.